Present simple for quarter two, week one. Take a look at this illustration. What is the lady doing? Okay, she's Erica, and Erica is a teacher, but now she's in bed asleep. She's not teaching, she is asleep, but she teaches. She is a teacher, okay? But she's asleep, okay? But she teaches during the day, of course, or when she's not asleep. We use the simple present to talk about things in general, okay? Or the general truth. We use it to say that something happens all the time or repeatedly. Let's take a look at this example. The earth revolves around the sun in 365 days, 5 hours, 59 minutes, and 16 seconds. It revolves continuously. It happens all the time or repeatedly. So we use the word revolve, okay, in this sentence. It is in the present simple aspect of the verb, okay? So we say in a simple present, we say teach or teaches, work or works, do or does, okay, in the simple present. So for subjects I, we, you, they, we use the verb teach, work, study, do, and other verbs. There is no S or ES in each verb because we consider I, we, you, they, or the we and they as a plural subject, okay? You can recall, if you can recall uh, the subject verb agreement, for pronouns I and you, we use the base form of the verb. So we say teach, work, study, do, and other verbs. Okay, that does not end in S or ES or has no S form. For singular subjects like he, she, it, we use the S form of the verb, like teaches, works, studies, does, and other verbs. He, she, it is a singular uh, subject, okay? It refers to one person or thing. And so, it is followed by a singular verb with an S form. So, it ends in S or ES, like teaches, works, and studies. We use the simple present for things that are true in general or for things that happen sometimes or all the time. Like, for example, in the supermarket. The supermarket opens at 7 in the morning. We use the simple present or the present simple uh, aspect of the verb opens because the supermarket opens at 7 every day, okay, in the morning, okay? So it happens all the time or sometimes, but most often all the time. Another one, we use the simple present for things that are true in general, Okay, like for example, the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. Every day, okay, every day of our lives, okay, it did not change its direction. Always the sun rises in the east and it always sets in the west. Okay, so this is something that is true in general. So we use the simple present or the present simple uh, aspect of the verb rises, okay, in this sentence, and sets, okay? 
Rices, singular in form, meaning it has an S, and sets also ends in S, because the sun is a singular thing, okay? So, it is followed by a verb in a singular form. We also use um, the simple present, okay, for things that happen uh, sometimes, okay, but repeatedly. Erin and Mavin study at home because of COVID-19 pandemic. Before the pandemic, of course, they study in school. But since the pandemic, and it's going now for going for two years now, so they are at home studying. Okay. So we say we use the verb study in this sense because the subject, Erin and Mavin, are plural in form. There is more than one. And so we use the verb study and not studies, okay? Okay, we say I study, but he studies, okay? The, it changes, the verb form changes because of the subject, okay? They is plural in form, and so the verb teach is in plural in form. It has no S or ES. Okay, they teach, you run, I have, but she teaches, it runs, but he has, okay? We use the simple present to say how often we do things. Like, for example, I get up at 8 o'clock every morning. Julian, Julian sees her dentist twice a month. Dom and Bea drink too very, a tea very often. And Robert usually goes away two or three times a year. That's how often they do things. Not every morning, twice a month, very often, two or three times a year. And so in this case, you can use the simple present tense. Okay, let's do this. Complete the sentences using the following verbs. Okay, Donna speaks Spanish very well. Okay. It is something that she is uh, able to do. Okay, speak. The verb is speak. Okay, number two. What is the verb to be used? Okay, you're right. The cousins go to the same school. Okay, it has no ES, ES form. Okay. Bad driving, blank many accidents. What is the answer? Correct. Causes. Okay, it's singular in form. So it, uh, the subject is singular in form, and so it ends, the verb ends in S or is. Causes. The National Museum blank at 4 o'clock on Sunday. So every Sunday, they... Okay, close. Okay, closes. The National a Museum closes at 4 o'clock on Sundays. Number five, my parents blank in a very small house. What's the answer? Correct, live. Number six, the Olympic Games blank every four years. You're right, it happens, okay? The Olympic Games happen every four years. Happens every four years. The Pan Panama Canal blank the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. Okay, you're right. Connects. How many did you get? Let's do another one. Okay, the Earth goes around the sun. The rice grows, uh, rice grows in tropical climates. The sun, okay, rises in the east. Bees, eat honey. Vegetarians, 
I'm sorry. Bees make honey. Vegetarians eat vegetables. A Christian believes in God. An interpreter translates from one language into another. And honest people tell the truth. The river Amazon flows into the Atlantic Ocean. So for your activity, you do part or two, week one, learning task two. It has a separate discussion and I will be uploading it also later. Please watch it in the same YouTube channel. Thanks. For a supplemental video, you can watch a subject verb agreement videos. Uh, for more explanations on what forms of verb agrees with the subject. Thank you.